Hey y'all, it's Andrew Couch here, and in this Tire Tuesday video, we're going to be going over how to connect to a database using R and RStudio. So um, what's cool about RStudio is it comes with a lot of um, little features that allows it, you to connect to a database very fast. Um, I'm actually going to create a database using um, a, some data from my uh, current side project, which is a UFC sports betting model. So I wrote some functions to basically do some web scraping, which will essentially scrape um, all the UFC fights and the fight data um, in UFC history. I also had a lot of uh, data cleaning too. So I figured that it'd be cool to use kind of like our raw data and put it into a database and kind of do some SQL. Um, one thing that I have to say too is that the database I'm creating is gonna be a very simple database. And when you're actually going to be connecting to your database using an ODBC, um, say in your work, uh, you'll probably have to do a user ID and password. Probably gonna have to establish like the driver host schema, but that's stuff that you're probably gonna have to just ask the DBA or your other colleagues. I also will say that I use the keyring package to secure my credentials. So that way, um, when I'm sharing scripts or posting them, no one can see my, um, my, you know, vulnerable information. So we're just going to lo load up a R studio, uh, load up R studio, load up R markdown, call us tidy Tuesday, uh, database, open it up, clear the garbage and then load in the tidyverse, ODBC package, uh, DBI. And I'm also loading the, uh, R SQL Lite package so I can create a database for this working example. I'm going to load in the uh, fight data. So I'm going to say read CSV, uh, fight data.csv. We look at it and we have about 11,000 rows where each row represents a fighter and his or her respective fight with their given data. So as you can see, we have like strikes received, weight class, time, uh, significant strike percent. All this really inf interesting stuff that would be good for creating creating like a model. I'm now going to create our connection. So generally, when you're connecting to a database, you always call it con, and then you do db connect. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do SQLite, SQLite, using R SQLite to create a database. I'm going to store it in memory. Okay, and then I'm going to copy this table to copy the fight table to my, you know, database in memory. Great. So when you're kind of looking at a table, the first thing you kind of do is a uh, select star. So I'm going to say DB get query. Uh, you have to give it the connection. And then I'm going to write in select star from fight. And now we have essentially a screenshot of our fight table. Okay. So one thing when I'm looking at this fight table is, uh, oops, is we kind of want to count how many fight BKs or how many fighters there are for every fight. So that's going to be a simple count. So DB get query, oops, DB get query con and then select uh, fight PK count fight EK from fight group by uh, fight EK. And I'm also going to order it by count fight EK in descending order, just to make sure we have two uh, fighters for every fight, which it makes sense because I created this data and it would be odd to have a fighter having no opponent. Great. So that's good and all. And if we actually look at our table, um, it's not really great for creating, say, like a model because realistically what we'd want is like a head to head. So I would want, say, Stipe Miocic and his opponent to be on the same row, which is a very simple join using the fight BK. So let's go over a basic join. Uh, wow, I keep on doing the DB connection args, get query on. So what we're going to do is basically uh, build it um, iteratively. So what I like to do is first do the baseline query, which is fight PK and the fighter from fight. 
And then what we want to do is basically create kind of like a pseudo opponent table where it's uh, basically going to be selecting fight PK and the fighter. Okay, so I'm going to do join select fight PK fighter as opponent from fight. So this essentially opponent table um, of that we just created needs to be named because we're going to be joining it. So I'm going to just call it B. Now what we're going to do is join the fight table with the B table. What I'm going to say is on fight dot fight PK is equal to B dot fight PK order by fight PK. Oops. Now what I have to do is also uh, we have ambiguous column name. So I have to specify it because we have both a fight PK in the B table and the fight PK in the fight table. So I'm going to say fight dot fight PK uh, fight dot fighter and then B dot opponent. Uh, fight dot me. Oops, and then fight dot fight pk. I'm in. So we can see we kind of have a problem here. Uh, for one thing, since it's just joining by fight pk, uh, we can see that Gerard is facing Gerard, and we can't have that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say where. Oops, join on. We're gonna say uh, oops. Where oops. Where fighter oops fight dot fighter not equal to b dot opponent right so now we have uh only two du uh one duplicate for each fight and it's kind of a problem because they're, they're essentially flip flopped so gerard is facing uh Taylor and what tyla or Taylor is facing gerard uh a little trick is just say fighter is greater than opponent because it's saying that okay um whichever one is like in the closest alphabetical order or the closest like a will be kept so that's kind of a good way to just uh, filter out these like you know pairwise combinations great so we have this um another thing i'm going to add is the fight.res and with the fight.res i think it'd be kind of useful to convert this these losses and wins for the fighter and do ones and zeros so this can be another little uh uh, another little command, which is which will be a case one statement. So case one fighter dot res is equal to w then one else zero and as I'll say uh, fight res fighter dot res word word oops fight dot res. So now we have our fighter res converted our results from the fight into zeros and ones. We also do a sanity check with just a fight.res just to make sure I, I didn't do anything wrong, which it makes sense. Okay, so that's pretty cool and all. Um, one one additional feature that um, our markdown has is that if you ever notice that when you're writing your code chunks, there's an R in it. What that actually means is in that code chunk, it's trying to, um, We'll get that um, whatever you're typing as an R language. You can also uh, change it to SQL and establish your connection. And then you can just write out um, explicit SQL like that. So I think this is a little bit nicer because that way you can for sure know, you know, this is SQL and this is R and you don't have these like crazy unhighlighted, um, you know, functions, which is very useful. Okay. Additionally, what you can do is you can change the output. So output dot bar is equal to df. And you see that there's no um, like message. But if we look at our df, it basically outputted the query that we wrote in SQL into a output variable called data frame, which is very cool. Okay, so kind of throughout this short video, um, I was kind of assuming that you guys know SQL. However, a lot of times people don't have the um, didn't have the uh, classes to be able to take an official SQL class, and most of it was just learned online. So your SQL skills might not be very good. Luckily, um, dplyr works really well with um, the databases. So let's show you how to basically write SQL without knowing any, any of it. As long as you know dplyr, you can basically get away with not knowing SQL in our, in our, in our studio. However, I would definitely recommend to uh, learn some SQL because it's a pretty easy language and 
um, you get a lot of rewards and a lot of value from just learning basic um, select star statements and uh, joins. So what I'm going to do is basically create a database or a table, so a con and fight. And this will be basically the data frame that we'll be querying from, which will be our database. So our fight DB. And again, this again is a screenshot of it. I might see that there's only a thousand rows when in route, we should have about 11,000. It's just because it's only going to take the first thousand rows whenever you print something out. Okay. So let's actually copy, let's, let's, let's rewrite this query into a dplyr or a dplyr pipe R style tidy for syntax. What you would do is select fighter fight PK. Right. And then you, what you do is, uh, left join fight database, select fight PK fighter, and then opponent is equal to fighter by equals fight PK. Oops. And I also want to do the, uh, was it res? So we have that, which is, you know, a pretty, pretty standard, um, like, you know, pipe function or pipeline. Then what we can do is, uh, we can say filter fighter is not equal to opponent and fighter is greater than opponent. And then what we can do is mutate res is equal to if else res is equal to W, then it's a one else it's a zero. So that's basically what we wanted. Uh, what we can do now is call us a like fight query. And with this fight query, uh, we can do show query and this will basically create the SQL function for our, or the SQL command, uh, for our table. All right. So now what we could do is just kind of copy this in and write in like, you know, SQL connection equals con and I'll do that. Right. So now we have it. Um, it's going to, only show the first thousand, but that's fine. Okay. So that's pretty great. Um, what I'm always going to do is I'm just going to use the, the thing that we created. So, which is the DF. But one thing that we always have to do is when you're done uh, using the database, you always should use the DB disconnect function with the con and then specify your connection. Okay. And what I'm going to do is basically an ELO thing. So since we have our pairwise, our, our head to heads, I can use the ELO package and create a generic ELO model. So ELO model, and then ELO dot run, uh, was it fight res fighter plus opponent data equals DF K equals 20. Now we have our ELO model. Ooh, actually, maybe I should probably close my connection to the uh, white DB too. Okay, nope, never mind. We don't need to worry about that. Cool. Okay, so now we have this data frame of our ELO history. What I can do now is just say like select like uh, team dot a and then ELO dot a. Rename all. Uh, dot funds oops dot funds is equal to ser replace dot x dot a dot dot right nothing too crazy uh put that in dot b dot b then dot b find rows oop and there so now that we have our output of our query we can kind of combine this into our ELA model and then output it out. Um, oh, actually, I should also do what is it? Fight EK. Oops. Um, you will model as that data frame. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, sorry. Uh, also, just do a little bind columns and then say DF select fight pk just so we have a fight pk that reference it uh oops let's see here okay so now i have that 
Uh, what well, we can, oops. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna just, let's see here. Do that. Do that. Okay, there we go. And then what I'm gonna do is like a group by, uh, was it team? Arrange by fight PK. Oops. What? Group by team. What's going on? <laughs> All right, just uh, what, what's going on here? Okay, let's see here. Find heat and all one. Rename all. Okay, and then group by team, right? And then uh, <laughs> arrange by fight PK. Um, add their fight number, which will be their row number. So fight number is equal to row number. Ungroup it, and then we can GG plot like the ELO distributions for all the fights. So X equals Fight number y equals elo group is equal to team plus geom line alpha is equal to point four. And now we can kind of see the walk of like all of our elo scores. So you know whoever right here was really just beating everyone. Whoever was down here basically was losing against everyone and probably got cut. And we have it through all the fight numbers. So you know the as 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 the more fights you do, the more likely you're going to kind of regress down. So that's basically it. Uh, I know this is a pretty fast video, but I'll see you guys next week and tidy on.